Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's travel vlog. So mum and I did some road tripping and we explored new places in the UK. So I wanted to bring you guys along our three days. We had so much fun. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely like it if you do and we will dive straight into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Basically over the next two, three days, mum and I are going to be road tripping in a tesla which is honestly insane like an electric tesla it's like the model 3 or something i am working with virtual on instagram so this video is not sponsored on youtube i am just taking you guys along with mo and i to show you like everything that we get up to i did put contacts in this morning so i need to blink quite a few times milk is also on my bed little bowl of oats this oh Hello. We have some chia seeds, banana, blueberries, and I think those are nectarines. Yeah, it's a nectarine. Welcome to our Tesla. Oh, <laughs> this is our Tesla Model 3. I am suffering with hay fever right now, but we are about to set off to Canterbury. Is day one. Do you want to say anything, Mum? No, just can't wait to uh, <laughs> get going. We're off. Yeah, we're off. <laughs> it's such a quiet car. I literally um, can't get my head around it. I'll let you guys know how we get on on our journey. It's we're going on like far. a nice scenic drive scenic through the British countryside. I've never been to Canterbury actually. Yeah, have you been um, to Canterbury, Mum? I think I think you have. I think you did a tennis thing at once uh, in Canterbury, and I came along. Did mm -hmm. I? I have no recollection of going to Canterbury, so technically this is my first time going. Now apparently Teslas are the most intelligent cars, and I don't have a problem believing that because this car is honestly insane. And on our first drive, we were obviously listening to the tunes, the musical songs basically, and mum was just getting used to the car herself, but she very quickly got used to it and fell in love with it, quite literally. We're a bit confused, but we're currently driving through, where is this, Chillum? Chillum. Chillum, it's really picturesque. That's a good adjective. Next stop is Canterbury. In 500 feet, turn left to stay on Bagham Road. This is a British... Now turn left to stay on Bagham Road. Thank you. A British countryside appreciation drive. And now this is to appreciate Canterbury itself, yes. But also the weather on this day, like the UK, oh my gosh, pulled through with the sunshine. And yeah, I still don't believe I've ever been to Canterbury before because this was all new to me. We have arrived in Canterbury, you guys. We're walking to like the center of the city, which is where you have the cathedral because cities in the UK either have a university or a cathedral, right? Or both. Or both. There's also this vegan place that we're definitely gonna go to before it closes, which is called the Veg Box Cafe. Emily and Dan have been here before, but obviously mum and I haven't, so that's pretty much where we're heading. And this is the street we're walking along. Whoops, I'm gonna bash into people. But anyway, very nice sunny day as well. Got the sunnies on. And now let me introduce you to the Veg Box Cafe. I didn't realize it was fully vegan. I thought it was vegetarian slash vegan. But everything is made fresh on the day in the cafe itself. And oh my gosh, this place was actually insanely good, you guys. This is the Veg Box Cafe. Everything is vegan. I went for the salad plate. Well, it's the full salad with a fritter and then um, potato wedges. Mum basically got the same, but we got like different toppings. So mum got kimchi. Potato like cutlets or something. Mm. Oh my god, this looks so good. As I said, because everything's made fresh on the day, I believe it changes up, so the menu will vary slightly. But oh my gosh, you know when you taste food that is just so just oh so pure and oh oh my gosh, I'm running out of words to describe this food, you guys. But I I'm just gonna shut up and just let you watch us eat the food because yeah, we then also got desserts. Oh my gosh, the desserts as well. The people in here are so nice. We got two desserts and they've given us an extra one for free to try. Two of them are raw, so they're like not cooked or anything. And then we have a brownie. Oh my God, they look so good. This is the raw coffee and walnut cake. This is the raw carrot cake. And this is the beetroot chocolate brownie. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that brownie. The brownie is good. <laughs> Brownie taste test. Mm. Oh my god, that brownie is insane. Raw coffee cake. Mm. That nice. This is the carrot cake. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, 
That is actually wow. That texture is so good. Which one is your favorite? I know I said I was gonna shut up. I just wanted to come in here and say that my favorite was definitely the carrot cake. Like if you saw that texture, it was grated carrot as the base. All of them were so good though. Okay, so definitely visit this place if you come to Canterbury. Like please, please stop at the Vegabots Cafe. You will not be disappointed. This is the best view of the cathedral right now <laughs> because it has loads of scaffolding around it. You can just about see it through there. You see the cathedral. But anyways, what are you trying to do, mom? What is she doing? You can see it better up here. Oh, okay. It's a good viewpoint. You recommend. If you come to Canterbury, you have to come and stand on this wall. See, right, she's getting a great shot. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh yeah, it's quite good. That's quite good. See then if you, if you zoom in. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's actually nice. Look at the blue sky. We climbed up to see it because mum was right. It's actually quite a good viewpoint. My hair looks so frizzy right now. You see it? That's such a good shot. I told you. The fence is in the way, but you don't have any scaffolding in view, so well, we recommend. Uh, just been a casual parkour. Ew, got some mud. We're walking along Stower Street, which apparently has like these types of like Tudor buildings, we think, but we haven't really seen many of them. Ow, I almost just poked my eye out. But now we're kind of back onto the high street. It's very similar to Cambridge, I'm not gonna lie. Like the whole vibe, you've got a mix of the old stuff and the new stuff, because obviously it does have a university here. It's the University of Kent, I think, in Canterbury. This high street is very Tudor style, you see? These buildings. I don't know what it is about Tudor buildings. I think I just remember learning about them in school. So I always have to point them out. And I actually think they look really interesting from the outside as well. But yeah, as I said, Canterbury, it had a very similar vibe to Cambridge. And there were also punters along the river. I cannot name the river for you guys, but there's a river and there are people punting along it. Is that you? <laughs> Holy, come on. <laughs> Stop, is that? It's not, you're doing a noise to do with it, are you? Oh, it's a fart bag on there, what? <laughs> Stop. I'm gonna wet the show. Come on. <laughs> you can change the farts. <laughs> oh. oh! It's making me need the toilet. We don't need to try one more. Oh, change oh, of on. scenery. We're going to do some shopping after our trip to Canterbury. Hurry up, I need the toilet. Oh, sorry. Okay. Come on. You actually need the toilet. Yeah, I do need the toilet. <laughs> Bye. The well, I'll show you if you get anything interesting. We're in Tesco, you guys, which is where we don't normally come. This is the vegan vegetarian section in Tesco. I think they have other sections as well, but this is one of them. Tofu, this is the best tofu. Well, I really like yeah. this one. Wicked is like the Tesco brand that does vegan stuff. Oh, goo, oh my God, these are so good. They do vegan pepperoni now. Yeah. Oh my God, that's actually crazy. Fun fact about me, right? Before I was vegan and before I was vegetarian, I used to love pepperoni. I cannot bear the thought of eating it now, but they have a vegan one. That's crazy. Everything is being veganized these days. I'm not saying it's the best stuff to have, definitely not, but it's just cool to see. Another highlight of Tesco, the vegan yogurts. Oh my God, so good. Oh my gosh, coconut collab. These yogurts, mom, should we get coconut collab? Oh, this is on a special. Two pounds for mango and passion fruit. Oh yes. Oh my God, that yogurt is so good. What do you think it is? Frozen pie. No? I don't know. It's from Thailand. Mm. Mama cup noodle. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Chang! I'll have to have one then. Put them oh. in the fridge and make them cold. Yeah. Seven and <laughs> Mum, you should try one of these Chang beers. No, it's too strong for you, Mum. <laughs> these are in Tesco. Chang yeah. for Chiang Mai. So that's basically our adventures. For today. It was kind of like a half day in Canterbury, but I feel like you can do Canterbury in a day. Like we saw most things. We're cracking open a Remedy Apple Crisp kombucha. I put this in the fridge the other day, but I didn't have it on that day when planned. So we're gonna have it now. I kind of had a list of things I just wanted to see on my phone. Kind of like a mini itinerary, which I'm obsessed with obviously at the moment. And I think my favorite thing about Canterbury has to be the Veg Book Cafe, honestly. That food was... Look how frizzy my hair is today. I obviously didn't put that much gel in, or not enough, so it's quite frizzy. I will reset it again, I think, so we can have fresh hair tomorrow. We're probably gonna get windswept if you go to the coast, but 
you know, at least we start off with bouncy cows, right? I will speak to you guys tomorrow, I think, for another day of exploring. Hey guys, it's very sunny where we're parked right now. The tester is so hot. Mom is um, obviously making friends with um, people outside. We're at this supercharger thing where we charge the car. Um, it takes like half an hour, literally it's so fast. And then we're gonna be able to get to our destination. We would have made it there and back, we think. Well, maybe not there and back. We would have had like minus 1% charge on the car. We're going to a place called Deal today, which is somewhere I don't think you often hear about in the UK, but it's on the coast and it's apparently really nice. So that is where we're going. I'll show you guys what it looks like, this charging thing. These are all the chargers. And then this is our car being charged. It's like a proper Tesla thing. I put my gel cast in this morning like I wet it. I didn't wash it yesterday because it got too late. I brought my t-shirt to like scrunch out the crunch, um, which I'm gonna do as we're kind of driving or something. Or I could do it now. Yeah, I might do it now. We finished charging. I scrunched out the crunch. Let's pull out, yeah. Oh, we have there to push we that go. First. Welcome to Deal. This is a seaside town, as I said. It is along the southeast coast of the UK. And yeah, it was pretty sunny, but still very windy. Can you hear the breeze? We have made it to the, to the sea. <laughs> this is basically Deal. Yeah, it's like a shingle beach. Oh my God. The sea, we've also said, looks so blue. It's almost like it shouldn't be in the UK. It looks ridiculous. Yeah, I know. So as a seaside town, it does have all of your classic seasidey things. This is also Deal Castle, but there are like boats along the seafront. It is not a sandy beach, as I said, but it's still really nice. There are seagulls. It has a pier, so we walked along that. And there's obviously the town and all the lanes, so you can go exploring all of the different shops. Basically, we've come on Sunday, so it's quite difficult to get anywhere that serves food at like this time apparently because everywhere's closing. It's quite quiet today. There's quite a few places that have vegan options in Deal, not gonna lie. There isn't like a fully vegan place like Canterbury, but. Trust me, the best place I've <laughs> Oh my god, my hair is going everywhere. We were gonna go to this, no, Burger Bros, I think. This oh, like Burger Bros, pub with a restaurant it. had like really good vegan stuff, like everything could be veganized basically, but they just finished food seven minutes before we went in. We tried this place called The Lane that had just closed or was closing, couldn't go there. There's also apparently a vegan ice cream place that we Where kind of want to find. Time. Update you guys. We've come to a place called The Boat House. Because we were eating lunch at around 4 p.m., that's why places were closing, I think. But The Boat House did have different vegan options. So I went for the poke bowl, and then mum had the curry with like cauliflower rice, but then some bread on the side. Oh, I love this stuff. This what green stuff. No, it's not. Mm. I'm gonna guess and say this is seaweed or seaweedy type stuff. I really love it, but I need to be able to recognize it on menus. So if any of you guys know what it is, please tell me down below. But you do often get it in like poke bowls or sometimes with sushi and oh, it's so good. And then after that, we found the Deal Beach Parlor, which was the place selling ice cream, including vegan ice cream. We got our ice cream. It was three pounds a scoop. I wanted to try vanilla and salted caramel. Mum's got the salted caramel, so we've just kind of like tried each other's. Three pounds! It's very cool. Welcome to summer in the UK. They had four vegan flavours. The other ones were mint choc, strawberry, vanilla and salted caramel. Seagull. Hi! Now it's time to get in the sea. I actually brought my bikini with me. Love. And a towel. And goggles. <laughs> no, I'm joking, not the goggles. Right, we've left Deal and now we're driving oh, along no, we've driven or through to Dover. Dover, which is where you have um, the White Cliffs. These are the White Cliffs of oh, Dover for left. you. Okay. What a pink building. Yeah. The thing we said about Deal, which is really good, as a seaside town, it's like not very busy and touristy, unlike Brighton or even Whitstable, which is where we went for New Year's Day, so earlier this year. Now we're driving In back. 1,000 feet, enter the roundabout and take the third exit. We're going back to hopefully maybe stop off in like a nature reserve 
area to maybe do a little bit of a walk. We've basically come to the Kent Downs, which is an area of national beauty, but it has, you know, all of these different walks mapped out. Um, and then you can see grazing sheep. Um, what is this? Common milk wart and bee orchards. We might start this walk over there. I think mum has gone for a bush wee. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go as well. There aren't any toilets around here. Where did you go? I just went down there a bit. My car on the seat has a mask. Looks like there's someone in the car. Which one? The first? What, what that, the one nearest that corner? Yeah. It has like a mask, like a Halloween mask. It's not oh. even Halloween. <laughs> um, I've also been stung, but it's fine. These are the views, you guys. We've literally just walked like one minute. Get that shot, mum. Now this view is apparently one of or the best view in Kent. And I thought it was actually stunning. Like the views you get from this point are so good. And especially on a sunny day like this, Oh, it was honestly perfect and just a really nice walk. know and you've probably realized from this video mom and i are big foodies so we get very excited about trying new food places and this was fitology it is 75 percent vegan and we tried two of their smoothies so i got the green one classic me and mom tried the very very smoothie i would recommend both of those it was so refreshing and then i got the thai bowl with tofu and mom got the buddha bowl oh my gosh the aesthetic was so good like on a new level and then we tried their chocolate cake as well we shared it because they just ran out of carrot cake but this was so good we um have just had some lunch we did a q a we filmed a video and yeah we haven't done that much exploring today but we decided to come out in the car anyway to make the most of um this beautiful thing mum's new baby mom never thought she would drive one in my life so yeah i kind of wanted to show you guys what these cars actually look like because we've never seen one like what is an electric car actually like um so yeah i'll show you guys and we'll give you a mini well, tour it's electric obviously because it's electric it's automatic yeah so it's an automatic car so there's no gears or anything mum do you want to take full um control of what we're doing here oh, well no, this really. is obviously this is... driver's side passenger yeah. side you know classic this is your like main control this is controls everything doesn't it? yeah it controls yeah. everything in the car so you have like nothing on the dashboard. what is this called dashboard. the dashboard yeah thanks mum most of your main controls are like here charging locks autopilot and everything so this is like the automation in the car which we haven't really used you have netflix youtube and stuff you obviously don't watch when driving safety first but then you have like games this is the toy box so this is where i found the fart thing if you can connect your phone with bluetooth mine's connected right now i think not mum's yeah. like you can sync your messengers calendar and everything this is the camera button so this is the back of the car, what we can see. Oh, Sorry, this is your like air conditioning, air conditioning and, and the fan. The got heated seats if you want to put a heated seat on for the person that's not uh -huh. sitting back there. Yep. You can do, oh, you can, oh, you can even change the, how hot or cold you want. I didn't know that. We don't think there's a way at the moment to like have air con in one side of the car and not the other. Oh, no, 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 there isn't. The air con will be on, but it's whether you can have more of the air con or blowing in different directions my side as to the passenger side yeah because yesterday we were finding that like i was too hot mum was too cold or mum was too hot i was too cold it was like very different to like yeah. gauge the yeah. temperature you can charge your, your oh two phones. yeah this is actually insane these are like um wireless charging stations for two phones um do you want to pop the boot mum on cue when i go out to the back and i'll show you the handles are also very interesting like you push it then you open it like that which is clever let's do the front first there we go you open it and normally in a normal car you would have I don't know like the engine here but this is a storage 
section called well, your no, front. This, and this bit is actually if you do run out of charge and you have to be towed, they, yeah. this is the thing that they connect to the car. Yeah, to I thought that was. You know what I, thought that is was? I thought that tool was like a break in thing because you have those in the minibuses in Australia. That's genuinely what I thought it was. Anyway, we're going to go and do the boot oh, now. This. Oh, yes. So good. And then the boot is actually really big. Like it's just like quite shallow, but quite, um, well, it goes quite far back. So quite deep. This is what the back looks like. You have three seats in the back. Three proper seat belts, not just a lap belt. Yep. This is me going all the way back. And you can also sink as well. Oh yeah, you've got, yeah. Cause that comes up and down. You can, you've got controls to move the, steer, the steering wheel to which position you want it. I mean, there's so much in but there. I'm still going here. And all then right. back further. Yeah, you'll go back until so that you could just camp the... in this car. Like, this is the furthest back it goes. Back oh, so home. comfy. I've never been in a comfier car, by the way. It's vegan leather, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it well? is vegan leather, as so I said yesterday. There's no horrible smell. I personally hate the smell of leather cars. Like, I don't buy or use leather anyway, but the smell of leather cars makes me feel really car sick. Um, but this car, obviously, is vegan leather. Does not smell at all. It's really nice. But anyway, that's a Tesla. If you. Uh, Wanted to do a quick tour. So this is the screen, um, and this is us, obviously. The lines tell you how close you are to things, uh, but that's a tractor, oh my gosh. Well, let's put it as a oh, lorry. it's not showing oh, it as a tractor. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at the car, car coming, car. See, watch the cars. Um, it makes them into little shapes. Yeah. When you see like a person and a bike, like it will show you that it's a bike or a person, but that tractor wasn't actually very accurate. Yeah, um, but when you indicate as well, like it will show you the camera on that side, which is quite cool. Mom and I have literally, well, we haven't literally just got home. That's a complete lie. We got home about an hour and a half ago or something. We drove actually to my grandparents' house, so my nana and grandpa. I haven't seen them in such a long time in person. You guys haven't officially like met nana and grandpa, but they said hey to the vlog, so I'll insert that here for you guys as well. Stand yeah, yeah, nana knows the shot. See, nana knows what she's doing. Do you want to wave? Do you want to, what do you want to say to YouTube? Oh, how are you doing today then? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say, Nana? Do you want to say anything? Uh, oh, yes, I'm, I'm saving up hard now. For right. what? A Tesla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is essentially Mum and I's road trip kind of thing. We didn't go and stay anywhere because this was all organised quite last minute. We were going to go away for like the Jubilee weekend, but things were pushed back. And so yeah, we just kind of like went to different places in the UK. And it has really made me appreciate the uk there are so many cool places that i should really visit you know mom never thought she would drive a tesla in her whole life so i'm just really happy that she got to do that you know and she's literally fallen in love with the car she genuinely loves it so if i could one day buy her a tesla like how cool would that be i hope you guys don't mind but like traveling is going to be featuring a lot and i'm just loving exploring so yeah this channel just like follows what i do in my life so you guys will come along with me and if there's anywhere in particular you guys want me to go or take you in the uk then let me know if you are craving an adventure this is your sign to like go and explore it doesn't have to be far as well you know so yeah like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below subscribe if you're new into the bell sooner than i upload and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye Dude, do you want to do that again, huh? Should we do it in sync? Three, two, one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I literally have to blink a few times because I just put the contact lenses in. Yeah, I've been for my tissues. Oh. oh no. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. We need to put aircon. Oh, yeah. uh, what's going on? Wait, are we? Isn't yeah, aren't we going? This is right. This way. Up. Don't we want to go this way? You're telling me now that way, huh? No, but this way. That way is Canterbury. What are you doing, huh? I was just trying to play this game. It's very sunny, as you can see, huh? Kind of feels crispy because we wanted curly hair today again. If I hold to the TV room, I could go sit in the Tesla and watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah. I could go back to it, so can you put another one in there? again it's supposed to be subtly in the background and you're going oh okay <laughs> so you need to come back you need to go back and then go yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> do, 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 do. Going over. Right, mom's getting very worried. Someone's gonna take you guys. <laughs> You're right. It's got a nice bum shot. We love the bum shot. Oh, oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, dude, for being my echo. Mm -hmm.